Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through everything that I'm packing for the cruise. This is gonna be a pack with me video. So I have some things that are already set out. I'm gonna show you some of my clothes. If you guys are new to my channel, I am going on a cruise this next week to the Bahamas. So I'm really excited about it. Never been on a cruise and I figured this would be a good time to show you what I'm taking on the cruise. And if you are going on a beachy trip or on a cruise in the future, maybe you can get some ideas from this video as well. So if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I figured I would start with the shoes that I'm gonna bring and I do have a pair of tennis shoes that will be included. Right now they're a little dirty so I have to wipe them off before I put them in the bag but I'm gonna take, these are gonna be like my nice pair of shoes. I got these at DSW. They're this brand. I don't know, but they're incredibly comfortable. I normally don't buy shoes that have this big chunk of a heel right here, but oh my gosh, it was insanely comfortable walking around the store in these. So figured I'd have those because they do have a fancy night, like a formal night on the cruise. So I figured I could take those. I'm gonna take these really, really comfortable sandals just to throw on like if we're at the pool or if we're walking around the ship, just to have around so they're a little bit nice. So you can wear these with like jean shorts or with a dress. So they're kind of still sandals, but they are a little bit nicer. These are just general flip-flops that are kind of the same material that I'll take. And then these are my nicer kind of like slip-on shoes. So we got these at DSW as well. That's the brand. These are very comfortable. Yeah, so those are the shoes I'm gonna be taking on the cruise. Hopefully these will suffice. Next are clothes. So I'm gonna show you. First, I'm gonna be taking this guy. This is the jumper, like the jumpsuit thing that I showed you from that stitch fix that I got. So I'm gonna be taking this. This is going to be my dress for a formal night. The back is open and it's a really long flowy dress. So that will be appropriate for formal night, especially because it's got a lot of the floral prints on it. This is another dress that I got from the Stitch Fix and it's so incredibly comfortable. This is more probably gonna be like wear around the boat type of thing, maybe throw over my bathing suit, something like that. It's a little bit more casual. This is a nicer short dress. So I have like a lot of long stuff. So I wanted to bring a shorter dress, but I got this off of a boutique um, Dainty Hooligan is where I got it, but I really like this dress. It's very comfortable, very flowy. It has lots of wrinkles in it. I need to get those out, but this would be a nice dress to wear around the boat or when we go on our excursions. I'm going to be taking a lot of spaghetti strap shirts like this. So this is the first shirt I'm going to take. Probably have too much. I don't know. I feel like that always is the case when you pack. This is another shirt that I got from Stitch Fix. It has these open holes on the side. So I figured this could also be another more of a loungy shirt that could go over a swimsuit. This is another spaghetti strap shirt that's just very comfortable, very soft. This is the other item from the Stitch Fix that I got. So this is the off the shoulder little cute mustard yellow shirt. And I think that I could probably wear this at dinners or going to shows or something because they have a lot of shows on the cruise. Then there's this one from Stitch Fix that I got also. I mainly got that Stitch Fix because I wanted to take them on the cruise. So all of these are repeats that you've already seen. This is a shirt and it's actually more of a cover up. I got this from Target, but I have been loving the black and mustard yellow theme. The next couple shirts are basically basically repeats of this just in different patterns but I like that it has sleeves and then it has um, a little section right here that clips so you could put this over your bathing suit you can also just wear this as a regular shirt that's originally what I bought it for and then it does have a tie down here so you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want Figured this could be a good like excursion type of thing where I could wear this over my bathing suit and then take it off when we go zip lining and hang out at the pool and stuff. This is another black and yellow shirt. I don't know what is my deal with this. I just have been loving yellow shirts lately. So I got this from Kohl's yesterday. They only had an extra large, so it's a little big on me, but it's the Lauren Conrad. And actually you can, there's a little thing at the bottom down here that you can tighten it. So that's what I did to make it work. And it's just really flowy. It's got longer sleeves. 
And yeah, it's just a really pretty shirt. Next up is more yellow. This is a very, very, very soft shirt that I figured that maybe I could wear. We're going to Orlando Universal Studios. And I figured this could be a shirt that I could wear that day because it's incredibly soft. And it's just kind of like a cute pullover tank type thing. This is from the Apartment 9 brand. This is another shirt. I don't know if I'm going to keep this in here because it's a little bit more of a formal shirt that hangs off your shoulder. But this is from Express. I don't know. I figured I'd keep it in here in case I didn't want to wear a dress to dinner every night, but I don't know, I might take that out. Then I have another shirt. Oh my gosh, I have too much. <laughs> this is from the Knox Rose brand at Target. Got this a long time ago, but this is another really cool shirt that has some interest that's not just plain. Then I have this guy. This is more of my like relax on the plane type of shirt. So it's a little bit more of a t-shirt. This is, I forget where I got this. Oh, I got it at, um, what's it called? Charming Charlie, actually. And it's the most comfortable shirt I own. And it's really cute because it has this tie detail at the bottom. So this is more of a comfy shirt. Then I'm taking this. This is a little cover-up thingy that you can put on almost any spaghetti strap shirt. I got this from Charlotte Roos a long time ago, but something to go over my spaghetti straps in case I get cold or I just want something over me that's flowy. I'm also going to be taking my jean jacket just in case because it sounds like they have like ice shows and ice skating show type thing and I want to have something that can go over any of this stuff and still look nice but keeps me warm. As far as jeans go, I'm going to be taking this pair of capris. It's going to be so hot when we're there so I don't think I will need actual long jeans. I'm going to be taking these. They have a little, I mean all of my jeans basically have holes in them but they're the refuge brand. These have really good affordable jeans. That's the only pair of capris I'm taking. Then I'm taking two pairs of shorts. This one is an American Eagle short. And then this one is a little bit more of a high-waisted one that's still long here because I hate shorts that are high-waisted and then show your butt underneath it. Like I know that sounds weird to say, but I see it all the time and it really bothers me when I can see other people's like bottom of their butt cheek hanging out of their shorts because they're so high-waisted but these are high-waisted shorts but they still have the length of a normal short like down on your leg so these are from apartment nine as well and both of these are very comfy and stretchy then i'm taking some workout clothes because i'm doing this thing where i'm trying to walk like 50,000 steps a week. So I have a couple different shirts that I can wear to walk around in, a sports bra and then a pair of shorts. For PJs, I'm really just gonna take a pair of um, these Fabletics leggings because they're the most comfortable things in the world. These are the high-waisted ones. These are so comfortable. I'm taking a t-shirt and then also a little cami type thing. So I don't know which one I will wear, but we're gone for an entire week. So I want to have two options. Then we're taking hats because it sounds like it's going to be sunny. I don't know. Cruises sound sunny to me. So I figured I'd need a hat. I wish I could have gotten really cute like wider beach hat. Those like beige hats. Those are so cute. But I couldn't justify spending money on it when I'm only going to use it once. I don't normally go to the pool here. So like I feel like I'd use it once on the cruise and never wear it again. And making sure that I have my sound canceling headphones. These are Bose headphones and they're amazing on the flight. Then this is my little travel booklet thing that my mom printed out for me. So it has all of the information about our cruise in there, our tags, our luggage tags. We have this little guy holds our passport. So I'm gonna keep this handy. Let's see, my mom got me a C-band. I don't know if these work, but I'm gonna try them. Basically it's supposed to have like relief for nausea because I get seasick real fast clinically tested by healthcare okay hopefully it works let's see natural relief i think it's supposed to be like a pressure point thing i don't know i'm gonna try it out let's see oh my mom got me ribbon this is a bag for my mom she got me ribbon so that i could put it on our bag so it's easy to find apparently they just like throw your bags together and it's kind of tough to find your stuff 
Um, I'm bringing this spray fragrance perfume. It's the Escada. I don't know. I ever know how to say this. Escada Fiesta. I don't even know how to say that, but it's this. This smells very tropically and beachy to me. And I love taking scents that match the theme of where I'm going. And also when I wear this in the future, I'll remember the cruise. It's a it's a thing that totally works. When Chris and I went to Ireland for our honeymoon, we both bought new perfumes and like cologne for it. And then we wore it all through Ireland. And now every time he wears his cologne or I wear my perfume, it totally reminds me of Ireland. This is a wrap. Oh, I forgot my mom gave this to me. All right, this is a bathing suit wrap. How do you, where's the top? All right, I guess this is a bathing suit cover. So I'll have that. Um, what else did my mom give me? Clorox wipes, um, makeup removing wipes. Oh yes, how many are in here? Seven, exactly how many I need. My mom's the best. Okay, this is a nausea bag, in case I, cause I, the seasickness is real guys. Then I also have, she got me some Dramamine. And then these are towel hooks um, to hang our towels on the back of our chairs when we're at the pool. What else is in here? Lysol on the go. Oh, that's so smart. Last thing that's in here. No, not last thing. These are luggage tags. Ooh, luggage tags to go on our luggage pieces. And then this, these are storage bags. I think my mom said to use these for shoes so that it doesn't get like dirty stuff on your clothes when you pack it all together. Then we're also taking this, not the slippers. This is a handkerchief and it is supposed to repel bugs. So it's a repellent apparel. It repels ticks, mosquitoes, flies, chiggers, midges. Oh gosh, it remains effective for 70 washings. So we take this whenever we go hiking because it totally works to keep the bugs away. So we're gonna take that. Last thing I wanna show you guys is the bathing suits that I'm taking. So I'm gonna take three different ones. I may be on overload, I don't know, but maybe I'll wear one each day. This first one is from Target. It's so stinking cute. It is like my first one piece actually. Normally I do two pieces, but I thought this was incredibly cute. So this is what the top looks like. It has this pretty lace. It also has this to kind of tie it together. And then this comes down like right above your belly button. So it's just enough to show, but then it also covers up up down here a little bit and it's just incredibly flattering I really really like this one this one was also from Target so what I loved about this is that it had enough cuppage for me it can often be really hard to find bathing suits that work for my cup size and everything so I thought this one was really good and it also has this little slit down here and then I also liked the bathing suit bottoms but the back is like this so it crisscrosses and I like that you can adjust it and it's not like a set length that it closes at because that sometimes can be really annoying for me and also kind of pinch me so I like that one this last one Chris got for me actually a long time ago and I have not worn it yet it's from Elsa and Rose this is what the swimsuit looks like it's really really cute and pretty it's got this nice lace and it's also it shows a little bit more butt than I'm used to but you know what we're just gonna try it out okay <laughs> I think it's super super cute again it has straps and then it has these like gold details at the very end and you can um, adjust it to whatever you're comfortable with and then it also has this which I think comes across your chest and then it ties in the back I think is how it is and the way that Chris found this one is one we watched Bachelor in Paradise and one of the gals on the show was actually wearing the, one of these except in a different color and he like on his own went to go find what swimsuit she was wearing and bought it for me and says here here's your new swimsuit so that was super cute anyway those are the swimsuits I'll take hopefully I have not worn either any of these like actually to the pool because I just don't go to the pool. So I'm excited to wear them for the first time on the cruise. As far as makeup goes, I am going to pack just like very natural, lightweight makeup, maybe like pack a foundation. I normally pack a small little eye palette and then also the powder foundation that I've been loving lately is the Makeup Forever Blurring Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. Oh my gosh, it makes every, every foundation you're wearing just look flawless all day long. So I'm gonna probably take that. I 
will show you guys a little bit more what makeup particularly I'm gonna take because I'm planning to do a get ready with me while I'm on the cruise and show you what products I used and also how I got ready for the day. Anyway, that's pretty much everything I'm packing aside from toiletries. Hopefully that's enough, I guess we'll see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.